Ole Sakuinana is a dynamic gospel artist that has been in the music industry not for long. He was born and bred in Cape Town and his love for music developed at a very young age. While still schooling, singing in school choirs and later joined a local choir where his love for music grew immensely. He uses his music as a platform to preach and heal broken souls. Reaching across generations, his fresh sound evokes both praise and worship. Olisa, welcome to Afternoon Express. Thank you so much. You haven't even been in the music industry mm, for that long. Mm, you get recognition after mm. recognition from your demo out from your demo song yes. that you released. Mm. You already were nominated. Yes. We just I'm come honest. from the 13th um, Gospel Awards and, and again, I'm nominated again La for the big one. The big one, the song, song of the year. Song of the year. So, but one, and I'm the first one in the Western Cape to be nominated for for the for the category. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you so much. How does that feel? Um, when I heard it, I felt it's not true. <laughs> uh, you, have you felt that? Is, is it true? Is it not? Am I dreaming or what? Mm. But uh, after some time, I, I, I saw that this is true. Yeah. It's happening. So how does it feel to be an artist like yourself, quite new in this industry, and also still kind of finding your feet, mm. but getting so much recognition, so much acknowledgement, and just so much love from the country? How does that make you grow within Umtulo Wako and how you perform and, and, and essentially what you put pen to paper and record? Um, I don't want to lie, uh, when it comes to that, um, uh, uh, for the fact that I was recognised on crowns, uh, because the, the artists that have been in the industry for so long that yeah. have never been recognised, so for me it, it, it told me that whatever that I'm doing is there's something right that I'm doing. It makes me feel so, so excited and makes me to know that um, I'm having a good a good way in the in music industry. You also have developed a mentorship program where you believe in raising talent and, and being that mentor and that guidance. So please may you just tell me about your philanthropic efforts and the way you have decided to give back. I started something in the Western Cape um, for, for upcoming artists, for artists that are starting their music uh, to help them to find their feet because I know when you are getting into the industry, when there's no one that you know that can help you, 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 you sometimes you get confused and maybe not sure if are you doing something that is right. So I, I'm mentoring upcoming artists, there's the small ones that are starting in the Western Cape. So it's, it's really good and, and there are some that I see that they are coming very well mm -hmm. and they are, they are gonna, gonna be big things one day oh. in, the, in the industry. So you seem to have an eye for talent, I mean, from the people you decide to work mm. very closely with, and even within what you put into your own music, you're, you're, you're very gifted in that way. Is this calling something that has come naturally to you from a very young age? It's, it's a natural thing, because the thing, I never went to school for music, I never wow. went to any college for music, so I think it's something that is in me. I always tell people that um, music, it's something that I was born with, it's yes. something that is in me and I know uh, uh, it, for the fact that there are pe many people that have been healed. I got so many messages from people that are telling me that I got healed from your music. I, I got motivated. I wanted to kill myself. Mm. So I know it's something that I was born with. Thank so you. I do believe that you're going to mm. be performing for us. We are so on Yeah, so under. What's that song about and what does it mean to you? 2018, I was so sick. I had a brain tumor. If you can, if you can check me here, yes. I'm having a scar here. Uh, I had a brain tumor, so I, I had to go through an operation. Operation that's supposed to take three hours. It took 10 working hours, and the doctors thought that I'm dead, I'm no longer alive, alive. but there was one doctor that told me, that, that told other doctors that, no, this young is, is young, he's still alive, so they didn't give up on me. Mm. So I woke up, and I was on coma for more than seven days. So uh, I was not working. Um, at home, my mom lost her job, my sister lost her job. You know, there are things that were paying, mm. uh, bonds, uh, the bills, are bills. You, you understand? And the song came in while I was sleeping. It says, We are Sondra. It's an old song, old, old song, but it came to me that say, we, It means we are Sondra. It means He provides for us, He keeps us. Because I saw God providing in a situation whereby um, I, I haven't had anything, but I, I, I haven't, I, no, my car is still there, um, house is still there, every, everything is still there. And you know what, Oles? Mm. Even if those things were taken away and the bank decided to repossess everything, the Lord would have still kept you. Exactly. You still would have been where you are today because I do believe you have to go through something mm. to be the person that you are Nam Shan. Exactly. So we have we are blessed to still have your life. We're looking forward to having that performance yeah, Sandra. of Uya Sonja yeah. coming up a little later. Nominated on for counts for, for, for Song of the Year. Thank you so much. Yeah, ah. Congratulations again, <laughs> South so Africa. Much. Let's keep with the inspiration and all of the love on social media.